is reason to hope, according to Martin Griffiths, the UN Special Envoy to Yemen. He told Security Council members the first phase of an agreement signed in Stockholm last month was about to be implemented. Despite uh, deadlines being missed, the parties have constantly shown their commitment to implement the agreement and have consistently assured me of that commitment. I'm under no illusion about the challenges that we face, but perhaps for one day at least, we can be heartened rather than dismayed. The government and the Houthi movement agreed to redeploy their troops away from the ports of Salif, Ras Isa and Hodeida. Doing this would facilitate access to the Red Sea mills, where the World Food Programme has stocked enough wheat to feed nearly four million people for more than five months. Yemen is currently considered to be the world's worst humanitarian crisis. About 80% of the population, 24 million people, need humanitarian assistance and protection. Some 20 million people need help securing food, including nearly 10 million who, who are just a step away from famine. Nearly 240,000 of those people are right now facing catastrophic levels of hunger. The UN said the two sides had also agreed in principle on phase two, which entails the redeployment of forces in the whole Hodeida province. A new round of discussions is set to take place next week.